How have you been, man? How's everything? Good, good. Everything's going according to plan, right? Awesome. I'm I'm in crypto, so I guess I'm doing good. Dude, I just started something too. That's really cool. Did you? Yeah, man. I, I partner with a company, and they're fucking killing it, dude. Wait, what? What? Do, can you say on Twitch or no? Uh, it's it's related to the industry, so I don't know if I can. Uh, oh, hold on, maybe. I well, can yeah, you it. can. You're not dropping links. Like you've talked about your company. Yeah, it's a company called Poke Me, and they do a bunch of like <laughs> Poke NFT. Me? Yeah, P O K M I. And they just uh, started their uh, listing a month ago, and they went up times ten. Now they're back down to times six, but you know. Hold up, hold up. Would you say you partnered with them? Yeah. What's the, what are we talking about contract wise? Like, what can you so, reveal to us? Well, so originally they approached me to be an ambassador. They needed ambassadors for their brand, right? So they're like, "This is the deal we want to offer you to." Use your image, represent our brand. This is like a part in cash, a part in crypto. This is our plan. This is how we think it's going to go. This is the investors, the people we have behind us, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I made the deal. And then uh, they realized, because they're based out of France, but they want to go worldwide. And they realized all the people I know in the industry and... Um, and uh, they wanted me to do more with them. And so... Uh, but what are you leaving if you join these guys? What do you mean? What am I are, do you have to leave? You got to get out of one contract to go into the other? Or? No, no, because this is like something I don't do elsewhere. Oh, you know? okay, okay. So basically... But no, you have no experience here? No, honestly, the, the, the crypto world is, it was not my world originally. I, uh, when I invest, I believe in... You know, walls. I invest in in real estate. Stuff That's you can touch, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And wait, how many this... properties do you own? Can you say? So I just sold my house. You've been to my house. You saw my house. No, no. When you were in LA, you didn't come. Oh shit. So I just all, sold. All my... I know is you're in the hills. Yeah, I just so... sold my house. I I I had a. I mean, I'm still there right now, but because I have six month rent back. But I sold my house. I live in a. My house was is in uh, like a neighborhood like Drake lives there and like Canyon. Oh King my god! So you can even say the Canyon. price then. I, I don't want to say right. price, but wait, just, how long did you sit on this house? How many years? So I lived six years in it, and I oh just oh my it. god! I just sold it uh, over over double what I put in oh it. Oh my! Where yeah. are you staying now? So I'm still, I have six months rent back, but I bought another house 10 minutes away from here with a four acre property. Four acres in LA, it's it's nice. Holy shit. You know? Is it far from the old one? Like It's like 10 minutes. Remember the area where we went to the party? Yeah. 10 minutes from there. So the best part of LA. So it's very nice, yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a. Uh, I see people say I scammed acid. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Dude, your chat is the funniest chat on Twitch for real, dude. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are the funniest assholes ever. <laughs> it wasn't me. I wish I did. I would have sold it even higher price. But, you know, I gotta take the money where it's at, right? But um, but uh, so I bought. What happened is I bought a new place, right? And there's a house in it, but there's a lot of work to be done on the house. And then I wanted to keep this house, but my wife and I decided to put it on the market just to see how much it would go for. But I didn't. We didn't plan. We wanted to rent it. Yeah. Because right now a house like that in LA, you can easily rent rent it fifteen to twenty G's a month, right? Right. And for you, that's a fucking write off. It's yeah, and it's beautiful. You know, it pays everything else by itself, right? And um, but then that fucking crazy lady that talks to dead people visited our house, and she loved it so much. She claimed she loved the energy, right. and offered the stupid money to buy it. You know, the, all that's running through my head is those realtor ones, the yeah. realtor episodes. The 
the real oh, thing. If you don't get this, I'm done with society. There's no. Oh, you're don't... talking about porn stuff. Sorry. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> no, no, sorry, sorry. I was far from it. Like, <laughs> what is so when she it. said she liked the energy? What does this mean? So this lady is supposed to be like a med medium or something like that. Like she talks to, you know, hold on, let me put my camera on. So at least your chat see who they're talking to. Uh, the king. Oh, they know. They just don't know yet. Right. It should Dude, work. You now. look younger, bro. You get a lot of sun, don't you? I've, I've been playing a lot of tennis. So look how tanned you are. Yeah. It's a lame, man. Dude, look how much hair you have, bro. Holy. Look at me, bro. Every day. Thanks, I man. Shut I'm up, fucking man. dying. You look good. You know what you should do? Like, cause I see, like, you 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 spend a lot of time in the dark with the, you know, blue light on your face. Maybe you should buy some that cream. You know, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I'm gonna be honest. She's getting Don't a lot of bullshit. She's getting a lot of bullshit for that, dude. I just never understood why people hate on people trying to make money. Like, you know, you know I still anyone remember, would jump. Dude, anyone would jump on that business if they could. They just hate to it. Me, to me, I've seen them. I've seen real scams, so that's mm -hmm. nothing to me. You know, I've seen real Twitch scams, so that's nothing. But you're a nice guy because I remember you were the first person that ever changed my mind within seconds, right? Everyone was going crazy about Caterino cheating and stuff like that. And you're like, who gives a fuck? She's a young girl, right? You said that to it's, me. It's and bro, I, ever since then, I never cared. I thought it was blown out of proportion. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, who cares? This shit happens all the time. It's, listen, I've learned that, you know, if you, you know, overact on little dramas it's content and you can make a lot of views and a lot of subs on talking shit and making it way out of proportion yeah you know uh and that's what people are doing i don't think people really care about it it's just wait a minute that, what house are you in right now isn't like this I'm, yeah i'm in the same house so when you sell the house and i sold my house but when you have six months rent back that means you can stay an extra six months for free okay what the you fuck? know, so that's part of the deal. Like I sold my house and because the other house I bought, I put tenants in it for six months, but they're coming out of it and on October 31st. So on November 1st, we're going to start like moving How, in. Uh, so you now know. you're moving to three acres? Four acres, yeah. Holy yeah. Shit. And we're going to build like because there's a house on it, but we're going to like. Like give me a, just, just give me some visuals. Like I don't want to dox or anything, but give me visuals, right? Is this like a giant backyard and blah blah blah? Yeah, it's beautiful. Like so, it's kind of on a hill, and there's like a bunch of. I land. need that. If I'm in LA, and it has to be on a hill. Dude, you, know, you have to come back vertical. to LA and you know stay at my place. You'll have fun, dude. That place. What are you gonna do with all this fucking land? Are you dude, an ATV I, man. Well, yeah, we are actually getting ATVs, but you know, I have horses. I have a bunch of animals going around. No, you I don't. Have... What are you talking? Yeah, about? yeah. You have horses. Yeah, I always you have, have horses. A, you have a horse car. You don't have horses. I, I know, but say you swear know, you have horses. I have horses. Yeah. No, yeah. you don't. I do. I uh, I've had horses for long. It's actually <laughs> the reason why I moved in the neighborhood I'm I'm here right now. It's because it's a, a lot of horses property, and we used to board our horses in this area and then we found this house and decided to move here but yeah you, how long have you 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 have you're like zorro bro you have horses <laughs> how the, yeah. the fuck would you get into horseback riding and shit my wife my wife she grew up with horses and everything so oh she well, came from a wealthy background then no really no really she came from a background where like it it was in the countryside so horses, it's not like a sign of wealth. It's just so this is like heaven for you. You got grass. This is the Garden of Eden oh, this is with horses amazing. and like, beautiful women. Dude, wait till you come in LA and see my place. You're gonna trip, dude. And once we do all the work in it, it's gonna take probably a year to do everything we want to. We're gonna do it in two phases. If but, I come stay with you, do I get my own bathroom? Dude, you'll get two bathrooms. <laughs> I get the shit. You, I get the shit can, in peace. I get the shit can, in peace. Yeah, you can have a shit bathroom and a piss bathroom. Dude, because everyone who's like, yo, you got to come to LA, got it. They're trying to put me in these cramped apartments with them. No, I'm like, no. This no. is not what we do. This is not what we do, man. That's no. fucking insane. That's And who's in your place? Who's going to be everyone there? So, like, my wife, my daughter, me, and then my sons when they're with me, obviously. 
but it's so big that if I yeah. want to stay, if I want to just get, yeah. out, I don't want to be in your yeah. guys' business. No, I, listen, I, we, like I know it, you don't mind. I cringe yeah. out. I don't want to no, be in the way. So here's the thing. Right now there is a house, and the house is about three thousand square feet, right? Yeah. But we're gonna redo this house, but we also gonna add a another part, probably like twenty five hundred square feet to the house. So it's gonna be about fifty five hundred square foot house. And we're going to have also a guest house. So my guest house will be used for like my streaming. So I, I like to be separate from my house like I hold am up, right hold now. Up, hold up. Are you yeah. saying you're going to have a streaming area? So yeah. if we want to just go to 10,000 viewers, we load that place up with streamers? <laughs> exactly. Look, that's that the area, the place where I'm in right now is a thousand square feet. And it's my office slash streaming area but the guest house i'm gonna do is gonna be more like it's probably gonna be two bedrooms like a like a streaming area on top and a bunch of shit so i can scream or yell or rage as much as i want on the on my streams without waking up anyone at my house damn so you're going under a lot of construction in this new place. yeah we're gonna do like it's gonna take a year to really do everything but it's gonna be nice you know Dude, but it's, I can't it's an, tell you how yeah. excited the fact that I I could you probably can't find me in your own house. That's the best part for me. Right? <laughs> if I if I have an off day where I just want to stay in bed and sleep all day, right? I'm not yeah, I'm not it, depressing everyone. I'm out of the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's you know. I get a lot of friends visiting, so I always need like a special area for my friend where they they can feel like they have their own place and not like, you know, because a lot of the problem, you know, and I feel that way the, the few times where I go and stay at my, even my very good friends, I always feel like I'm using their hospitality and that makes me, you know, feel uncomfortable, right? Yeah. So I want to have an area at my place where they can have their own place, right? Where if they come home late, no one knows. If they leave early, no one, you know what I mean? You can yeah. do your own life. But still spend time with your friends, so that's that's good. That's, that's insane. Good. And you're probably thinking barbecues and shit, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, like, I'm, like I'm, actually setting yeah. up. And so uh, part of the part of the plans we made, uh, of course, it's going to be a barbecue area. But part of the plans we we are uh, thinking about doing like a real tree house, uh, also on the property, but like a tree house that will have like a bedroom and what's needed, you know. Oh, and then you from the hills you get to see yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you it's you'll like have a something higher... really cool. It's part of the plans. Yeah, we we're also doing a multi sport court for the kids and me because I play a lot of tennis now. So you know we want to have like a. It's a really good property. It's gonna be fun, man. Yeah, dude, and you should continue with tennis, right? Look how lean, yeah. look how lean your face is. Look I'm how round actually mine right is. now I'm round. the fattest I've ever been in my life right now. The, I'm two, what I'm two thirty four right now. Yo, be. chat, call me crazy. Is this not the best he's ever looked on stream? <laughs> I right? appreciate Maybe it. it's the camera. Maybe it's the camera. It's the new. Uh, it's the fresh haircut that does that. No, no, the tan is fucking sick. You know, when I tan, I catch up with you. But yeah, are you it's just tennis, man. I, I don't do any tanning. I just play tennis. And he, here's the most exciting thing. You probably haven't thought of this. Those barbecue areas with the stone bricks that people do. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah, I'm Yeah, we're going to have like, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. We're going to do something really cool with like very nice pool. Like I have a nice pool right now, but the pool I have right now, it's more like something I built that was fun for the kids yeah. with a big slide and big rocks so the kids could climb all the way on the top and jump from the top and mm -hmm. use the big slides and shit like that. But this time we're going to do something like just... Because my kids are older, something a little more like clean and yeah. modern. You yeah. probably don't even use the pool that much, right? No, but my kids do a lot. My kids use it a lot. That's one thing that bothers me, right? When these okay. guys become mega successful like Manny, they get pools and they never use them. Have you noticed that? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, what the fuck? Well, well uh, you, you know, like, uh, honestly, I could do without a pool, but my kids love pools. Like, my kids could be... It doesn't matter the weather. It doesn't matter how cold the water. Kids don't give a fuck. They can go in the water. Like, yeah. even if it's cold as fuck, they just it's LA's just fun. never cold. You know what I always wonder though. Your mental. Do you be honest now? Mm -hmm. Right. No one's ever honest with this. Are you starting to forget 
what it's like. Like, are you starting to forget your broke days? Are they starting to look like a long, long, long time ago? Or is it like yesterday? When you come from where I come from, you can never forget them. Like, never. Listen, my parents had shit job, struggled for a long time. Then I lost my dad when I was young. So then it was like a single mom with three kids. You lost your dad at what age? I didn't, I didn't know. That. I was 17 when my dad passed away. Oh, my God. Yeah. And my mom was a single mom and raising us. And, you know, she, uh, she uh, didn't have a great job, you know, minimum wage type shit. So, like, you can never forget. It doesn't matter. Uh, thank you. The chat is so nice, but don't worry, You've guys. You've never I'm, I'm talked about great. this on stream, I think. Yeah. Sorry? I've never heard this. Like you. Yeah, said, I don't really, I don't really about talk about that, but, you know. And you is your a, mom in you're, France? You have a gift for making people talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm evil, man. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, but man. Is your mom in France? Uh, my mom passed away this year, actually, from COVID. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, so I'm... Uh, what the fuck? Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm definitely not... You know, making the chat like uh oh wow, in the best this mood, but... year? I'm so hmm? sorry, man. Holy yeah, shit. yeah, beginning of the year in February, she uh, it is it is life, you know. Oh wow, it is life, man. Huh, was she in you... the US? No, she was in France, she was in France. Oh wow, you know, holy yeah. shit, dude, I would have never guessed. It is what it is, man. Thank you. Uh, your chat is so nice, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, they're like the nicest assholes on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's horrible. But uh, but you you know you have beautiful family. You got how many kids? I have four kids. Yeah. And they're all that's what's, studs. That's the what's ones good, I saw right? at the anime con, right? Dude, yeah, man, they are amazing kids, man. And you have your daughter that stays with you, right? Yeah. And my 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 sons they used to stay with me because my ex used to live in the guest house on the same property, but uh, now that we are moving, you know she uh, she got her own place, but like five minutes away from where I'm at. So you know. that's great. How many years you been in LA? Uh, this is my twentieth year. I came in in two thousand two thousand two. In two thousand two, you weren't in the hills. Where were you at in LA? Like in Sherman Oaks or something like that, you know. I don't know what that is. I, Sherman Oaks is in the valley. It's like I needed to be in the valley to that because that's why that's where most of the porn industry was happening, you know. Yeah. No, dude, my favorite story. Remember when you said this on stream? You got an award, right? Mm -hmm. You threw it in the garbage. Right? Well, there was the Pornhub Awards. So what happened, it was from uh, which company was it? Pornhub. Pornhub. Yeah. Okay. So, because what happened is, like, for years, Pornhub, they were basically stealing content from us, right? Just ripping your DVDs, because back then it was more DVDs than internet. The internet came out. Ripping the DVDs, uploading it. They used to claim it wasn't them uploading, but other people, which wasn't true. I mean, there was true, but they also had a whole section there in Quebec uh, where their job was to actually rip DVDs and upload it, right? Um so they invited me to the, the first Pornhub Awards, and I said, no. And then they're like, what if we give you an award? I'm like, I don't want your award. I, want, I don't want anything to do with you guys. And uh, they ended up having me win an award, and they sent it to me. Uh, they sent it to me. And so I made a video that I posted <laughs> on Twitter years ago where I was like, hey, uh, so uh, after I told you guys not to... Uh, nominate me or associate me with you guys, you still give me this. And I feel myself like I opened the trash can, put it in there, close the trash can. Legally, you can't do anything when they just no, snake they you can't. like that. You can't... Well, what you can do legally is, uh, you mean if they put your content? Yeah, yeah, because they do it for everyone, not like, just you, right? Like, yeah, what you can do is like, like a DMCA type thing and then it get deleted and then a week, and when I say a week, I'm talking a day later, someone else just uploads it back and then, you know. But then later the industry learned to instead, like we knew we couldn't fight them, right? If the music industry, if the movie industry can't fight them, the porn industry won't be able to fight them. And so we understood that instead of fighting them, we needed to 
work it out and find a way to make profit off of all these sites. And that's when we started to make um, deals with them where, okay, I will provide you like eight minute clips of my movies yeah. in exchange. You delete any clips of my movies that's not from me. In exchange, you plug my website everywhere. You put a link and People have the misconception that they were making the most money with like ads and shit like that. Yeah. The real money they were making is by doing all those affiliated program, right? You have millions of porn videos, 100 million views a day. If you get even 0.01% of these people to go from their free site to a pay site, then you win. And for them, that's where they will make money because they will take like 15% of the sales yeah. from the people they would send you in their pockets. Yeah. And out of 100 million views, sending to all those websites, that's yeah, how they but, make but big, really, big, big But really, it's still, you're still getting snaked even if you get promoted because really you need a royalty check. Of that's course. the only way it would be fair. But that's, that's also how then you could do your own channel and upload your own videos which were paid videos, premium videos, where you could make money off of, you know? Yeah, that, so when you started this career, were you right mm, away on your own website or it take you a while no, no. to understand so, it? Were so you John, a fucking idiot from the beginning? John, I'm about to turn 46 years old, right? So it means that I started porn when I was 21 years old. And it means that when I started porn, it was still VHS. <laughs> then it was DVDs. Oh shit! What <laughs> That's how old I am. Man. No, That's no, I remember. I, I grew up with VHS too. So then later, the the what happened is when internet came out. Remember, internet in the beginning to watch any videos was hell because it would take you forever to upload something, and the quality was shit. So in the beginning, all those DVD companies didn't believe in internet. Evil Angel, right. uh, uh, Anabolic, Diabolic, Red Light District, Vivid. They didn't believe in it. Yeah. But there was those little co internet companies that believe in it. Those are the ones like Reality Kings, Brazzers. They were all like, they were all like tiny companies originally. Right. And then they exploded because the quality all of a sudden was better and no DVD companies believe in it. Yeah. But how many years till you're like, fuck, this got to be on my own website. This is crazy what I'm doing. Oh, like instantly. The moment I was able to have a website. Listen, I always own my movies. From my first deal, when I first had a deal in America, I, I came to LA in 2002, yeah. uh, June 2002, January 2003, I made a deal with a company. They wanted me to be under contract as a performer for them, but they wanted me to direct for them. And I told them, listen, the only way I'll direct for you is if I own my content and you guys distribute it for me. I didn't want to be... Here is a here is a check for the movie, and then here's your check per movies. I yeah. didn't want to do that Would because you have I to be knew... pretty popular to even push for that kind of a deal. Yeah, or you have to do like good movies or shit like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it was the right move for me because look, now twenty years later, I still make I still make money off of movies that I made twenty years ago. But so as soon as you put your you know increase production value and put pumped your money into it. It was all on your website. You didn't have like a yeah. learning no. phase where you're like, oh, fuck, I'm the just going to do it. The moment I could have a website, I did it. And who the fuck teaches you this stuff or you just have to learn it yourself? Like, do you, you have a mentor? You, you got to want it. No. All this, I was like, you know, fuck it. Like, I don't care if my mentality, even when people didn't believe in internet, my mentality was like, why would I, even if it's little money, why would I want to? Make that extra money. Yeah. And then it grows and then it grew. But the difference really, like, it's like back in the day when there were DVDs, we were making so much money with the DVDs because that was the only like, platform, right? Yeah. Was DVDs. And they, then. You have to buy in stores. Yes. X, or X, order. X yeah. Or order, deliver, like shit like that, right? But that was crazy money, right? That was so easy business. The difference is now with all the sites, all the shit, you know? You make a lot less money, but you have way more platforms. Right. So instead of making all this money here, you can make here, 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 here. Yeah. And at the end, you still have a good amount of money if you and, do your business well. 
Yeah, but do you like that watering every platform? You know, sometimes I, think I find that uh, annoying as fuck. Like no, YouTube, I think it's Twitter. always look. It's always better to not have all your eggs in the same basket. Yeah, I like that because look, everyone that believed in the DVD and didn't go on the internet ate shit and they all disappear yeah. because they have all their eggs in the same baskets. What's your grind like now? Like, are you pumping out a video a week or you slow down a lot? Yeah, I slow down a lot uh, as a performer because I have a contract with a company. So I work, I do between four and six scenes a month for them, you know. uh, Can you talk about the money for that? I I don't like to give numbers. Okay. I don't like to give numbers. And then I I still make my movies uh, every month. Uh, that released through another company. So yeah. that was a good deal because I, I was able to make a contract with a company as a performer without having to stop doing my own shit, you know. But eventually, you know, my wife and I, we have plans. And and let's just say I'm closer to retiring that to the beginning of my career. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, you, you just like to work. You could have retired a long time ago. Bro, I just, yeah, I could have retired a long time ago. Uh, it's not even liking work. I love what I work. Uh, my job, I love what I do. Obviously, I'm a fucking gorgeous woman. But the best thing is to think that, listen, if I keep doing this few more years, maybe a couple more years, like I'm securing not only, like my future is secured, but my goal is to secure my kids and their kids' future, right? Mm-hmm. Step them up so one day I won't be here anymore. And they have not only everything they need, but what their kids will need and maybe what their kids and make sure to teach them how to grow this income. You know what's crazy is... Yeah, tell me. You ever think the future, now that everything is becoming digital and live and every, you know, like the whole world, if you're a plumber, you have a plumbing YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. Mm. The whole world is future (laughs) internet. So really, really... All you're doing is waiting for your biggest fucking paycheck. You haven't even seen it yet. It's coming. Yeah. You, do you feel yeah. like that? Yeah. Listen, that crypto company I started working with already, already uh, in less than a month, they went time 10, times 10. Yeah. And with the deal I made with them already, if I would have sold what I have already, it would have been like stupid yeah. because I made a really good deal. But that's not the goal. The goal for me, listen, I believe in those guys and I really believe they can multiply by 100. And if they multiply by 100, it would, would it be, crazy. be better for someone like you years down the road? Is multiple property better than one big, secure, good location? No, I always but, wonder for LA because. No, but I, I, f- I don't have one property. I have, a, I have multiple properties. I have a place in France. Yeah. I have a house in France. I have apartments in France. I have a couple building apartments here in LA. But when are uh, you in France? You're never in France. No, but the goal is it's not about being in France. Like I'm renting those places. I'm letting other people pay for it. Right. You know, uh, right. all you need really is the money to put down and then let other people pay for your shit. Do you travel? Let's say COVID wasn't happening. Would you be traveling the world or no? I Not as much. Uh, as I used to when I was younger. Uh, same thing, you know, I have kids. I hate being away from my kids. Um, and they have they have school and they have all those things that, you know. That's so weird. Your schedule can, you know, your schedule adapts around your kids. If you think, yeah, I told who's you. your boss, I told, right? I told you, like, like my my the best thing about this industry is not the money I make. It's not the girls I fuck. It's the time <laughs> I have for my family. <laughs> I really can make my schedule the way I want it. Uh, I, I work when my kids are in school and I'm here to pick them up, to take them to school, take them to sport, to do sports. You know, we have, uh, my kids and I, we love anime, manga and shit like that. So we do a bunch of shit together like that, you know. Um, so you're getting an ATV, horses. A bunch of ATVs, yeah. So, so every toy you already have, you have the Tesla, you have everything. Mm-hmm. It's the best, man. Be honest. No. Are you bored of it? Dude, when you have kids, you're never bored. Like, that's that's the truth. When you have kids, you're never bored. What do you do when you're alone alone? I uh, I do sports, I stream, and I jerk off. No, you don't jerk off. Stop lying. Bro. Bro. Do you? 
there is a reason why I do what I do, you know. Do you watch your own stuff? No. Never. What? I like, I like amateur stuff. I like amateur stuff. I like uh, the things we're not supposed to see. The 240p dog shit? I, I like that, yeah. But I like what seems real. But you see, when you watch porn, you don't look at it as a profession. You look at it and, you know, they're fucking. I see, I see who does what. I see when they do it, when it's genuine, when it's not. I see why they do those positions. Mm. I like the thing that, you know, like I know this video, maybe I wasn't supposed to see it. Oh, just like watching people just having fun and not caring about where the camera is. Yeah, so Sometimes ask quality. him if his kids know what he does. Dude, his kids are kids. They're kids. What the fuck? Well, my doing? oldest, my oldest, he's almost 15 and uh, he knows. Right. And he, he's cool with it. Like, I think I told you in the past, look, my son, one of his best friend, um, his dad is, is a very popular actor, right? And that kid's name is Jake. So one time I was talking to my son and I was telling him like, hey, like, you know, we don't really talk so much about this, but like, how do you feel about what I do? And, you know, do people ever bother you about it? Because some of the people know around him what I do. And, uh, and uh, that was last year. So he was, he was 13. And he was, um, he, he told me like, dude, I almost cried. Honestly, it was very hard. He's like, listen, my friend Jake, his dad is mainstream actor. He's doing very well. But out of the years, maybe two months home. He's like, I rather have a dad that's a porn star that take me to school, pick me up, take me to the sports, do sports with me, play with us, play video games with us, do all that, than a dad that's a mainstream actor, but that I've never seen. Yeah. The best thing you can give to your family is your time, nothing else. You, like, you can buy them the nicest clothes, the craziest toys, the cre like, it, yeah. compared to your time, is nothing else. Yeah, and that builds their confidence too, right? Of course, their... of course. For them and for them, it's it's huge, you know. Yeah, it's most huge. dads be sleeping all day. You know what I mean? They Bro, be sleeping all day, or putting the kids on screens, tablets, or shit like that. Yeah. And my kids, they they can, they're allowed to, but I, you know, I limit it. There's a limit to the time they can use it every day. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, weekdays and weekends are different. They need to ha be done with their schoolwork. They need to be done with what they have to do. Then they can't go on it. Right, right. Dude, when I look at you, I see myself. Anime. You love MMA, don't you? I love MMA. I'm a huge MMA fan. This weekend's going to be huge, then. It's huge. You I wish I could go, but, you know, it's not yeah. in the area. So If you've got nothing planned, we should do a fight companion where we just react live to the Let's whole thing. Let's do it. I'm more than happy to do that. I love that. Let's do it. Let's. Do, you don't that. drink alcohol. I remember you don't drink. I don't alcohol. drink. Yeah, I don't drink. But you know, we should have a shot for that. It's a special. Game. No, <laughs> no, like, I don't this drink. This card is like a gift for me. You know, this is amazing for me. So I'm pumped. <clears throat> I I I'd love to do that, man. I'm actually because I'm friend with a lot of the fighters, and I, I'm actually thinking about like starting a, a MMA YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Because um and. In French, the reason why I want to do that is because, uh, as stupid as it sound, um, MMA competition is only legal since last year in France. What? It, it was not legal in France. They were allowed to do pancreas, but not MMA, and right. they just legalized it last year. But because of the pandemic, actually 2020. But then because of the pandemic, they had one event and then everything canceled. This is exactly what I meant. You're the least French Frenchman. When I oh, said yeah. that, that's exactly I'm, what I mean. True. So no, but it's true. They out, Macron is like, no, we outlaw this shit. Well, it wasn't Macron. It was like before him. Like I, I just like to blame that guy. They were like, yeah, he's, he's a fucking dick. But um, he, uh, uh, the, 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 it, the truth is, in France, judo is huge okay. huge that's the sport that was the fourth national sport when i was a kid judo which is so I, effective I, I, I met a dude who get, it's so effective at the bar oh my that's God. my sport i used to even teach judo i i, I was a second degree black belt when i was yeah. younger yeah. and uh i love it 
Honestly, I love it. But the Federation, they saw how they would lose so much money if MMA came to France. And they're so big and they make so much money that they were lobbying against it. Right. And for years it worked. Is it just France? How many European countries are like France with this MMA stuff? I think it was only France. <laughs> I think it was only France in Europe. Everywhere oh else. My God. People like French fighters will go to Belgium to fight or to Holland to fight. Right, right, right. And you're starting a YouTube channel where you have them on like a podcast? Or... Yeah, I want to do a podcast like where I do like two episodes a week. One is all like MMA news and one will be like podcast guests have guests because yeah i know a lot of those guys so it's pretty cool are they in la some are in la some are in france Who like do you know? cyril gan francis and Ganu. No. like I, I have connection with a lot of them too even the even the ones i don't know i have connections with them. like one of my very good friends is dana white's uh camera guy the guy that you see following dana white everywhere that's a, like a really good friend of mine so same thing if one day you want to go live to the fights let me know let's go Hell i'm yeah. serious like I, he always gave me the best the best seats in the house they, they're yeah. called they're called dana seats holy shit i'd love yeah. to and you know what's crazy is i can see in the future my content i can see myself making a lot of money covering mma because the way i cover it is fucking hilarious dude it's like yeah. it's like yeah. a fucking nobody does it the way i do it i literally piss off if there's two fighters, I'll roast both of them so the chat gets really engaged and stuff. So it's like, that's it's good. great, you know. But I'm huge fan, and uh, damn, we should definitely go. Yeah. You know what's crazy? I've never been to an MMA fight. No way. Like a big, big dude, event, never. Dude, you should come and. No, if I leave my house, chat it's gonna be at Manny's. I'm gonna stay at Manny's, and he won't dude. even know I'm there until I Let's say. Let's set it hey, up, man. Uh, Let's set it up. You won't even know I'm there until I set up the ultimate streams. And what's crazy is people yeah. will collab now. Imagine when I say I'm in the hills. Yeah. You're like, yo, I'm coming. We'll go play basketball with Hassan. Have you met him? Yeah, I met him a couple of times. Um, there was, a, th there was a, a period where he was hitting me up to go play basketball, but man, he lived so far from me. And same thing, I would tell him, hey, I'm playing in that area. And he was like, ah, oh, that's too far. But, you know. Mm -hmm. He lived far from. That's when he was a socialist. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, like, but see, like, seriously, see. that's another. You, you know, that's another thing that I never, I didn't understand why people got so heated about him buying a house. And I know a lot of people want to troll him because of his views, political views. And when you make this kind of money, have this type of political views, people start being like, you, you know. But I fucking don't care. Like, all I think about is like, good for you, my man. Make yeah. that money. Yeah. The, I, I only care when it's trending. <laughs> I love it, man. But I know why you do it. Like, it's funny, you yeah. know. But no, it's, it's so funny. About. When when I was in LA with Canute, when, before we met you, uh, he invited Canute to the gym to work out. Mm -hmm. And then he said, Zerka can't come, right? Oh, and really? Canute is so sneaky. He's like, Zerka, just surprise him. And I just went and got laid. I ditched the whole thing. <laughs> oh, man. But that was hilarious, right? So oh, I won't man. play basketball with you guys, but... You, you so, don't play ball at all? Believe it or not, the only sport I've ever been good at is bar fighting. <laughs> if that's a sport, right? I like I've it. never been good at sports, right? But I've got KO power. Like, I seriously, good. I used to have serious aggression. When but you're you, broke, you, you, you have, no, now it's gone. But when I was you look broke. Like you, have, you look like you have KO power, dude. No, you, it's, you, it, it's because I literally transformed my whole. How come you never went into MMA? How come you never like thought, hey, I'm good at this. Maybe I should go towards that. Because at 17, I was doing Thai boxing and a professional head kicked me. And you know when you're in a bad gym and yeah. you're going too hard? Traumatized I suck. you. I, you I suck. Be... Yeah, yeah. So but then no, when... but like, listen. listen Dude, you sucking, don't understand. I was sucking one... doesn't mean shit. You know? I was 185 and soft, right? And yeah. then one day I overdosed hard on a bunch of steroids for my bodybuilding, right? Uh -huh. And I didn't understand, you know, I went from 185 pounds to 250. It was like a big difference, right? Huge. Huge difference. And I didn't understand how much that translates on a tall guy. So when I was doing security and I KO'd someone, I couldn't believe I was in my own body. Because that's like yeah. going from nerd to champion, right? But so, dude, that feeling, that knocking out feeling is like, 
Yeah, I've had that once. Who the young. fuck? Did, where? Who are you fighting? What the? Hell? Uh, in France, some pussy that was talking shit and I just like one shot him. When was this? I was like maybe nineteen, twenty. <laughs> But I one shot him. Like he was talking. He was with a girl, talking shit, talking shit, talking shit, and I just didn't say anything. And what? <laughs> and he <laughs> fell straight. Yeah. Out out at the in a bar or something like in public? No 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 it was uh it was at the college. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow, you're such a nice guy. What the fuck are you knocking off people, bro? Well, uh, again, I'm forty, almost forty six now. But when I was younger, I was a lot different than I am now. You know, I was a little cocky. I was doing martial arts. I was angry at people. You know. Which martial arts? Judo, judo, Just but judo does I hit like you don't hit in judo. But I was naturally, mm. you know. Athletic. I would say if, if you've got a nice ground and pound, judo is your best friend, right? Yeah. You get in that position quick. You know what's funny is like judo fighters, the highest level of judo fighters, never really translated well in MMA. Like they had like some guys that did okay, but never great. Because yeah. MMA like is America, wrestling. You got to wrestle, Carol, and that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, Carol Parisian used to be a beast in the beginning, but you know. Yeah. yeah. MMA, MMA is wrestling with some stand up defense. You could go to Dude, the top, right? Like I always explain to, like, because a lot of French people, they don't know so much about MMA. A lot of them know, but I always explain to them listen, back in the days, people thought Jiu Jitsu, like, the strongest base for MMA is wrestling. Yep. Because you're going to decide where the fight goes. Yeah, exactly. If you fight a guy that's mostly a jiu-jitsu guy with your wrestling, you're going to be able to stop him from taking you down. Yeah, and Most if of your the wrestling time, is good enough, it stops him from submitting you too. His jiu-jitsu can, can be high level if it, you're out wrestling him and beating the shit out of his face. There are, there are a lot of things you do in wrestling that if you do in jiu-jitsu, you get caught. But yeah. still, you can. the main thing is you can stop a jiu-jitsu guy from taking you down. Yeah, And if you fight a striker yeah. you can decide to take him down anytime and put him in the worst position for him to that's why that's why that's why islam um, and hooker is so interesting because yeah. hooker's got that knee that's yeah all, that's the only thing islam yeah, has that's to worry a good about. fight man uh, i'm i'm very curious but honestly to me islam is, is a lot like um habib in the beginning where he was he's so one-dimensional i i find them boring honestly really yeah like habib In the later of fights, he became good. He became right. more the Gaethje, interesting. Gaethje, around yeah. the Gaethje fight, he looked like perfect. Like, yeah, but in the beginning great. of his career, yeah. he kind of looked it, weird. It was boring. He was just holding people down and like winning through decision and not finishing that much. Islam is the same. You know, Usman was like that too. Come out, Usman. Remember yeah. when he said, I was only 30%, blah, blah, blah. He was just a wrestler holding people down, stopping them. And his three, four last fights, he became like an old monster, like, like a monster. Since he took the belt, which is funny because like a lot of the guys, like GSP was like that, right? Where GSP won the belt and then it wasn't the same GSP. He would, he would fight not to lose instead of fighting to win. You, yeah. you know the difference? Yeah, you see yeah, the yeah. difference? He was making sure he wasn't... Losing the high. He he was he was pulling a he was, just like he was pulling a John Jones versus Reyes. He's not fighting a win. He's just yeah. He's yeah. just making sure he's not losing. You know, Usman. I feel like since he got the belt, all his fights have been like top fucking fights. Yeah. The Colby that 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 same, was my like, favorite fight of all. Love time. or hate Colby Covington, yeah. this fight was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. You know what he did to Woodley? Yeah. It was so disrespectful. Yeah. What he did to twice to um. Dude, I get, I, get, I get so much hate for saying I don't watch old MMA or Pride. or uh -huh. I get so much hate from the MMA community. But really, I'm in it to watch Colby's, Usman's, the new fighters, this yeah. new talent. Because you look at football players in the last 10 years, like Ronaldo and these guys, they haven't leveled up that much. Mm. You look at MMA fighters in the last oh, 10 crazy. or even five years, and it's two different sports. Well, well, the reason why is now we arrive in a generation in MMA where those guys were born after MMA started. Yeah. So it's not like back in the days where each You'd have to person, go to different gyms yeah, and shit. People yeah. wanted to... No, even in the beginning, they just wanted to show that their martial art was the dominant one. Right. 
they were not they weren't well rounded most of them yeah they just wanted to show my martial art is the top yeah. now those guys are born and they taught since a young age everything yeah. wrestling for mma kickboxing for mma jujitsu for mma because yeah. kickboxing by itself it's not kickboxing for mma jujitsu is not jujitsu for mma and wrestling is not the same wrestling that the one you use in the mma the, exactly. the base is the same yeah. but that has evolved and those yeah. kids they learn everything at the same time yeah which is so beautiful like if you watch dustin Poirier. You're not seeing a kickboxer. You're seeing an yeah. MMA like striker, a real MMA, a yeah. real MMA striker with those True. awkward angles that kill people in street fights, right? True. So you're True. seeing the most effective kind of stand-up. True. But I get so much hate for this take. The greatest of all time. We'll ask you, but I'll start. Right? I'll take. I'll be crucified here. John Jones is the greatest of all time. By far. Okay. So to me, he is because of the people he beat. Like when people claim uh, Habib is better than to me, if you look their pedigree, right? That's what you say in English. Like their resume, their resume. Yeah. Like who Habib won, beat and who John Jones beat. Yeah. You see the names on John Jones' side and you're like, Killers. fuck, right. Uh, to me, the best forever will be Anderson Silva. Why? Because he made MMA pretty, right? Like a lot of the people that didn't know MMA, when they watch Anderson Silva, they thought, man, this this is pretty. What yeah. he was doing was just yeah. pretty. Beautiful. Yeah. Jesus. Man, I, I, I can talk about MMA all day. No, I no, just no, got a good. Text. this is great because I, I just, did it for 20 hours yesterday. Dude, I, I love it. But, I just got a text from my wife. You know, I wanted to say hi. So, But Saturday night, hit me up. Let's do it. I'll let's be here. It. Every single fight. Let's do it all. I'm, I'm more than happy to do it, man. For sure. And the, the way we're gonna do it is like it's just you and our it's just a reaction faces. Yeah. We're not if you want, the fight. If you want, I can see if Jens Polber wants Let's to do it do, with us. That would be awesome. Yeah, I bet he's, Jens. He's the best, man. I love this dude and he's always hitting me up to do that. So Yeah. Yeah. I'll and what I love about Jens I love this guy. When man. I was getting a shit ton of hate from chat, Zerka, you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know all Jens said on his stream is he's like Zerka knows what he's talking about. Boom. <laughs> Now Boom. nobody questions shit. The first right? lightweight lightweight UFC champion in the world said you were right. The best. How do you argue against that? Yeah, but I, dude, I don't know. I get attacked on the internet because I said Logan Paul. I love Floyd Mayweather, but in a street fight, he'd beat Floyd. When? Right? Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I get a lot of hate for saying that because they Logan call me a Paul, Logan fanboy. Logan Paul would destroy Mayweather because Logan Paul's base is wrestling. Yeah, and he's like 50 pounds over. He would shit. take him down, and yeah. what's Mayweather is going to do after being taken down? He would get wrecked. I could even true. see them standing, and if Logan connects in a street fight, that's bad news. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you can't hide behind glove. There's no Philly shell. There's You know, it's a street fight. Yeah. But, oh, I'm shit. stoked. I'm stoked for this weekend. Let's do it. 100% I'll be here. All right, all right. Have fun, everyone. Thank you, chat. You, you know. Enjoy, the man. Nicest, God bless. The nicest God bless your family. Which... Let me bless your family right now. I appreciate it. Every that, time I bless someone, good stuff. I bless myself, Thank and a lot so of much. money came my way. So these blessings work. Bless Thank your family. You so much, bless your family, but not you, Thank Manny. You so much. Thank you so much. AG, shut up. Sorry. Listen, bless your family, but not you, Manny, because you've <laughs> won at life. You don't need a win anymore. You're done. Game <laughs> over. You know what I mean? Thank God bless you, all of you. Same, same to you and yours. Yeah, Thank you, you guys. Soon. See you. Bye. Bye.